Okay, so this week our art is inspired by an artist called Jim Dine. And Jim Dine is an American artist who painted lots and lots of hearts. Some other things as well, but he loved hearts. He was a painter and he was also a sculptor. So if you look at some of these hearts right here, you see they're actually made out of metal. They're sculptures that stand. So those are full 3D hearts. And here's some of his paintings of hearts. Now, if we take a peek, this one's called Four Hearts. Look at the colors. You can tell Jim Dine also used lots of bright colors. And look at the way he outlined his hearts with the darker colors so we could really see where the, where the heart ended and that background begins. Remember our background is this area right here, right? And our heart is the object that we're looking at. And look at that shadow and shine, like I like to call it. Notice how it's darker on these outside edges here and lighter where the light would hit it, right? Shadow and shine really actually makes that painting look as if it could be a sculpture, but it's not, it's just a painting, okay? And there's some more of Jim Dine's hearts. So he doesn't just stick to traditional reds and pinks. Look at all the different colors he uses in his hearts. And again, look at the shine. Look at how light it is through here. Look at the shadow over here as if our light was shining this way and creating a shadow on the edge of the heart and kind of underneath and on the side of where that heart would be. And here's a few more of his sculptures. Look at this one, covered in tools, hammers and screwdrivers, all kinds of fun things. He also loved Pinocchio and look at that. He used to do some of the tools in his artwork. He said he came from a long line of family that loved and used tools to create different things. And he had a fascination with tools, with hearts also. He said, called himself a romantic, he said he loved hearts. And he was considered also a pop artist, right? He got inspiration from the things around him and everyday life, like bathrobes. And he has a whole series of art on bathrobes. So Jim Dine is the inspiration for our art today. Okay, so we're gonna make our Jim Dine inspired hearts today. And remember we talked about kind of finding the center of that paper, making a dot down at the bottom and a dot a little ways down from the top to help us make those hearts, right? And then going up on one side, around and down, up on the other side. Whoop, that one's smaller, around and down like that. Once you have a heart that you like on your paper, we're going to go ahead and trace it out in a dark color. I'm going to go ahead and trace it in a dark blue crayon like this. And this is going to be inspired by um, Mr. Dine's confetti hearts. And you'll see what I mean kind of by confetti in a minute. So confetti is that fun stuff that, you know, you kind of comes out of a popper um, on New Year's Eve, those little New Year's Eve poppers. It's little, those little pieces of square paper that make a huge mess, but they're fun and they're pretty. You've probably seen, they call certain cakes, confetti cakes that have colored sprinkles in them. I'm just gonna go around this a couple of times. Now we're gonna do confetti on the inside and the outside. And that's why we're gonna trace our heart up nice and make it kind of pop out. Um, but don't have your confetti run over the edges. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a bunch of colors and I'm just gonna do some, some fun, uh, some light colors like this. Let me add in maybe an orange, um, maybe an orangey red or pinky red like this and some kind of a green. I'll go with this green right here. And we're just gonna make little pops of confetti like this, like those little squares that come out of those puppers on New Year's Eve and do them in all different directions, right? Some this way. Now, if you get up against the edge, pretend it gets cut off, right? Almost like you cut your heart out with a cookie cutter, like you had this big thing and you whoop, cut that heart out with a cookie cutter. So some of them will run off 
you know, run right up to the edge and then stop and some won't. And you're going to do this with all of your different colors. So that's your first job. And then we're going to do some on the outside like this and the outside ones won't go to the inside. Right, so I might have some sticking out like that, like it fell underneath the heart, some like this, some over here like that, and stick with one color, fill in a bunch, then go back and grab another color and fill in a bunch till you have confetti on the inside and the outside all over your heart. And then I'm going to show you what we'll do next. All right, so. We're going to add a little shadow and I've got all my little different colored confettis, my little confetti scribbles all over the place. And then we're going to add a little bit of shadow and shine. So just take like a, a dark crayon and we're just going to kind of lightly cover uh, color on top over here on this side. Pretend the light's shining this way. So we've got a little bit of a shadow, right? A little bit of a cast shadow over here like this. Kind of go down that back side a little bit little bit of shadow inside here right and a little shadow on this side over here just a little bit of coloring and this is going to make our heart really kind of pop and look look more 3d-ish when we're all done which is so fun don't make it look like it's popping right off of this right off of the paper now, if you happen to have watercolors, this is a really fun one to add some watercolor to. If you don't, no worries. Um, you can just fill it in lightly with a crayon. Um, you know how in class, sometimes we take a, a little bit of a peeled crayon, one of those little scrap crayons that you have and just sort of lightly rub on top of your colors um, is a fun thing to do. Add a little more shadow over here. I'm gonna add just a touch of shadow back here. See, I'm just taking the same, a little bit lighter crayon actually than I think I traced my heart in, but still that same blue. I'm just sort of going around the outside of it a little bit. Right on top, look, see how I'm coloring right on top of those confetti pieces, because those would, if this heart was lifted up just a little bit, those would have some shadow on them too, right? They wouldn't, wouldn't just be shadow on the white part, there'd be shadow right down that whole thing. So add a little bit of shadow like that. So we've got shadow right there, shadow right there, a little bit of shadow, this part of my heart here, and kind of there. All right, and then we'll add a little shine too. So you take something light. Oh, I don't have a white crayon. It's all right, we'll use maybe a little bit of yellow. And just go over this part a little bit like that right and it's not going to stick and a little bit over here like that so shadow and shine right a little bit of shadow and shine now the next thing i'm gonna do is really kind of fun i'm gonna take and use my watercolor paints and I'm going to paint right across the top of this whole heart so it makes it look like it's kind of popping right out of the paper. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and do sort of a, I think I'll do a, like a traditional red. And watch what I can do, right? Do you see how I can, because I worked with crayon. And the wax of the crayon will resist the paint. So I can just paint right over the top and not worry about having to paint around on the inside because you see how it doesn't stick to my little wax confetti spots. How fun is that, right? Even my little shadow and shine, you see my, my shadows just kind of popping through there. Right across the top of that confetti. like that. I will still see that confetti right through everything that I'm painting. And then I think I'll do like a nice light yellow maybe around my whole background. See even that that shine, that yellow, a little bit of that crayon is still not covering it, right? To give that a little bit of shine. 
you'll notice if you look at those Jim, Jim Dine hearts in that uh, slideshow, right? You know that a lot of those hearts that I, that I showed you from Jim Dine, they always have this nice kind of shadow around them. All right, now I'm gonna take some yellow and I'm gonna go around the outside and do my whole background in yellow. But of course you can choose whatever colors you would like on your Jim Dine inspired heart. Have fun.